Hey everybody, welcome back. So I got my new order in from Freeze Dry Wholesalers, and I have one item that I'm dying to try right away. I was going to wait to do this video until I actually cooked the whole meal, but this is one item I want to try right away. And I want to give you some info on why you should be ordering your food now and getting it in stock. So let's check it out. All right, everybody, welcome back. So before we begin the video, I want to tell you about my link down below for these folks here. Breeze Dry Wholesalers was nice enough to give me that link down below to save all of my subscribers 15%. And you don't have to be a subscriber. If you're just watching this video randomly, you can still click that link and save 15% just for using the link. You will see the discounts when you check out. When you go to check out, you'll get the discount right there. So one of the things I'm noticing on a lot of uh, freeze dried food companies is shortages. Stuff is starting to run out. I had the video the other week ago about Mountain House and how they are um, basically shutting down sending out food. And the only way you're going to get Mountain House is to order it off their website. So I think it's time for you folks that are kind of on the fence about getting some emergency storage food to start thinking about doing it because time's getting short. Uh, I'm reading every day more and more about supply chain issues that could hit, about grain shortages, about the fact that chicken is going to get expensive. You know, so now is the time to get stocked up, and especially on your meats and proteins. Now, what we're going to try today has nothing to do with meat or protein, but it's really a make-or-break item for me when it comes to freeze-dried food, and it's their mashed potatoes. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I've tried Thrive Life mashed potatoes. I don't particularly like them. I love Thrive Life food, but I don't like their mashed potatoes. And I've tried them from a couple other vendors over the years um, in my preparedness journey, and I really found it. It's really tough to get them good. One thing that I found that was amazing was the potato pearls. If you guys have an LDS store nearby you or a, a ward where you can go in and buy the stuff, I know you can buy it online. If they sell the potato pearls, get them. They are amazing. That's like you just took all day mashing potatoes up and made them homemade. They're really, really good. But that's why I just wanted to do a quick video for today and try out the freeze-dried mashed potatoes and see if they're any good. I've never tried them before, and it's very, very simple to make them. You literally heat up some water. And you pick the amount of mashed potatoes you want to make. We're going to make a very small amount because I'm not going to eat all of them. And you mix it up, and there you go. You're ready to go. So let me get started. Let me get a little stove out here and get it started. And uh, we're just going to do this really, really simple today. This is just a quick video because I wanted to try those out when they came. I was really excited. And I will show you what we got while we're waiting for the water to boil. All right, so before I begin boiling the water for the mashed potatoes, I'm going to show you what we got. Over on the end there, you see I freeze-dried cheese powder. It's white cheddar. I'm going to be using that later in a video to make up some macaroni and cheese with something else in it. Um, we want to try it out. Of course, we have the mashed potatoes. In the back, of course, the freeze-dried penny pasta. You guys have seen me use that in many different meals. Freeze-dried smoked pulled pork. That looked interesting. And freeze-dried hamburgers. I actually wanted some more of these because these were really good. They take a while to hydrate, but they're really tasty. Freeze-dried sirloin steaks. These are amazing. <laughs> freeze-dried ground beef. Dried ground beef. We are definitely going to try that one out. And, of course, freeze-dried ground lamb. And I'm trying, I'm not going to try to make, like, gyros with this, or gyros, whatever you want to say. Uh, I'm going to try to make that with that, with some tzatziki sauce. And uh, we'll make it really yummy and see how good it comes out. But the first thing I want to do, of course, is the mashed potatoes. So I'm going to open up the uh, container here. And I always rip these, and they always come up sideways. <laughs> Never managed to get it right. There we go. All right, so I'm going to open up the container here. And I'm just going to scoop out some of this. Uh, let me get a spoon. All right, and I, again, I'm making a very small amount. Make sure when you do this that you're not taking the, uh, the oxygen absorber and desiccant pack with you. And I'm just going to get a tiny little amount here because I really don't want to go nuts and... Uh, make too much. Uh, this, the, on the back is pretty simple. It says every ounce weighs six ounces once hydrated with one rehydrated with water. And basically you, all you're going to do is add hot water to this, mix it up, okay, and get the desired consistency that you want and you're good to go. So we're going to definitely try it out. Let me boil some water here and I'm using a very old stove. You guys might remember this one. Um, this was one from my original bug out bag years ago. I bought this in a outdoor world when I lived in California. Probably paid too much for it. Now you can buy on Amazon for like nine dollars. But uh, it was ages ago. The thing still works, but the um, the PCO igniter doesn't. Of course, it's long dead since then. 
I bought this in, gosh, 99, 98. So let's get the water on here and get it to boiling. Bring you back when it's ready. We'll mix up the mashed potatoes and see what I think of them. So the old stove works, just takes a while. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, that took a little bit. But hey, it works. That's why I keep it. Keep it around. All right, so we're going to pour this in here. And i got a little spork here to mix things up with. That's a good start. Let's see how we're doing. We need a lot more than that. All right. And you just keep adding it until you think you have enough. Remember, you can't take it back once you've added too much. So you don't want to add too much to this and mess things up. And I probably could have used a better, you know, spatula and, and uh, whisk. But we're just doing a little tiny, a tiny, tiny amount of this. And that's a whole lot of mashed potatoes for such a small... Oop! I'm making a mess already. whole lot of mashed potatoes for such a small little amount. And we'll just keep adding water slowly. Better to take your time doing it than to go nuts and add too much water and have mashed potato soup. <laughs> so, we're getting there. There we go. Probably should have used a bigger bowl. See, I envision making a little tiny bit in this little tiny bottom of this bowl. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay, so let's take a look at it first. There you go. It looks like it's going to taste good. Let's try it out. Mmm. Okay, that tastes... Like, exactly the same as the store-bought packs of mashed potatoes. And quite frankly, I suspect it probably is. That is really good. Buttery, light, really, really nice. A um, little bit of salt in there. Not bland at all. Definitely a winner on that one. I'm definitely pleased with it. So I'm going to finish that off as a little afternoon treat. <laughs> and uh, be, uh, be very happy. I'm going to order some more of that to put away because... I like the fact that I can make mashed potatoes that easy. I mean, seriously, that was good enough to even try another, another bite of it. Mm. Excuse my noise while I'm chewing there, but uh, that was really, really good. So we definitely know the freeze-dried mashed potatoes are good to go. Um, I would say give them a try, definitely. If you like mashed potatoes and you want an easy way to put together some mashed potatoes real simply, that definitely fits the bill really, really well for you. So, that's a little test of it today. I just wanted to kind of test out the mashed potatoes on camera and let you know what I picked up. And also, too, one last thing about freeze-dried wholesalers. Because they're getting swamped with orders, um, you will order stuff sometimes, and sometimes it'll be out of stock. And this is what it'll look like. You see my order sheet here. I just folded over my name on the top, my address. Freeze-dried chocolate brownie bites, and there's a line through it because it wasn't in stock. And they ship you a little note there. We will ship out your remaining items as soon as available. Um, generally, they have all this stuff in stock. It's just not dehydrated yet. So it's a matter of getting it out of the freezers or whatever, preparing it, and then freeze-drying it. So the stuff will not be months and months like some other distributors have done in the past. You'll get your food within a couple weeks or a couple days even after. Um, sometimes I've gotten it a couple days later in just a second shipment. So anyway, that's my freeze-dried wholesaler video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I definitely want you guys to start looking into any kind of food storage right now. If this stuff is too pricey for you, I get that. But get to the stores, get yourself some canned goods, and get ready. Because I think this summer is going to be really, really tight when it comes to food and prices. I think inflation, along with the fact that we have a lot of shortages, is going to hit a whole lot of preppers really, really hard if you haven't stocked up enough. Um, I read an article today, believe it or not, that said he, and this is a famous economist, I forget the name of the guy, but um, he's very no, well known and respected, and he said he expects um, people to need two years worth of food. I don't know about that, you know, I probably have it, but I don't know about it, I don't really think that's necessary. But if you can work your way up to a year, you're definitely going to feel a whole lot better if this all comes crashing down. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget the link is down below, click it, get yourself, 15% off. No need to buy the stuff at full price. Use my link, get my discount, and you guys will be good to go. Below that, we have our Amazon affiliate store. We'll put everything that I use in the channel in there. We have our My Patriot supply link. That's preparewithiridium.com. That might be another stocking up option for you. You can get a whole lot of food really quick. We got $150 off four-week kick right now, so go check that out as well. And our Thrive Life food. I may not like their mashed potatoes, but I do love their food. So check out Thrive Life. 
Um, these freeze-dried wholesaler mashed potatoes, they're good to go. They're awesome. So I will talk to you guys later. Stay safe and stay prepared.